Yo, what's good everyone? It's ZigZag here. Welcome back to another GeoGuessr video and welcome back to the road to number one in the world on GeoGuessr Jewels. As you guys know, recently they changed the rules so that we can actually play no moving and no moving panning or zooming, which is exactly what I like to do. Also, we had a mammoth episode yesterday where we almost gained a hundred rating with four really nice wins. Uh, but today, well, actually it was five. I think that's why we actually got so high. But uh, today we're gonna have to see if we can be quite so lucky because yesterday was uh, a lot going our way, let's say. Um, so yeah, give the video a like. I'm gonna try to explain my guesses a little bit more, but obviously when we're getting a little bit higher now, we actually are now at the point where I could definitely lose quite a lot of ELO if I make some poor guesses. So I will do what I can. And here is our first opponent, Wook GG. Someone I feel like I played maybe back uh, when we had the moving jewels, but uh, they are Serbian apparently, and we have some. I thought Mexico, you know, it's actually Chilean signpost here. Okay, that makes sense. And then we should be somewhere near Santiago, I suppose, with this kind of landscape. Feels fairly dry. We have big mountains east, which obviously makes sense. I'm just gonna go San Felipe here. Um, we, ha we have enough vegetation that it shouldn't be too far north. I guess up to La Serena is possible, but it could also be south of Santiago. Um, and it is possible that our opponent doesn't know it, but our opponent has made a nice guess. Not really a surprise. I mean, anyone about 1.4k, we can take our time. Uh, there's not really, there's not really too much advantage in just insta-guessing to try and catch out our opponent, unless it's a really hard round. Next one here's Japan, where we learned about being humble yesterday. This one definitely gives me north vibes, though. I definitely think, I don't think it's Hokkaido, because we don't see any cabbage, which you'd normally see. Um, but uh, yeah, this guardrail, Japanese style, white painted. I do think this is a bit further north. Although the mountains are kind of small, I think we can just be in some kind of a valley over here. Yamagata Valley feels good. Um, it's also a fairly humble guess, you know, so I'll go for that. And it was actually just Kanagawa there. Uh, interesting, looks so cold. <clears throat> and our opponent goes for the humble guess, does 500 points of damage to us. But to be fair, it is pre multi so it's really no big deal. Next one here is gonna be Ecuador and not Ecuador at all, but Argentina, Uruguay. And Uruguay always, always has the black car and it's normally overcast and you normally have like these patches of trees. Um, and when it looks like this, it tends to be somewhere around the middle, I would say. Um, and I'm gonna guess exactly here. And yeah, it was right near there. Our opponent makes the same guess. So either just clicking exactly in the middle or, uh, or they just had a good vibe like I did. But next one here is Thailand. Not a country I'm often happy to see just because it is a bit random, I feel. Uh, it's pretty agricultural here. We got some red soil. This just feels like the eastern kind of uh, lip of Thailand here. And I would just click middle of the east because this could be anywhere in these ones as well. So it's better to just kind of hedge it a little bit. We have a very cute dog here. And uh, I don't really know what's going on in the back of that ute, but uh, okay, there we go. Um, is the, you, you do, know, do you know that word, guys? Ute, utility vehicle. It's something we say in Australia for, you know, pickup trucks, but uh, yeah, kind of interesting. I thought you might like to know. Well, we had a few extra seconds as we load in to a hard one here, Russia and possibly Ukraine as well. Can we make it out on the language here? Mm. I think it's Russian. I don't see any I letters, which would say we were in Ukrainian, but it still could be. White brick architecture here, but there's really not much to go off of. The, the soil's very dark. It does feel more Russian to me. I'm thinking of just clicking Nizhny, um, even though it could easily be further east. I think I'm just gonna do that. Even Ivanovo, I'm gonna go Ivanovo here. Um, yeah, I mean, we could potentially get knocked out if it's Eastern Russia and our opponent 5Ks. Um, <laughs> I have not pointed out the, uh, yeah, anyway, obvious, uh, beautiful phallic graffiti here. And it was all the way out here in Serov, and that was actually gettable. That was kind of that, uh, northern Yekaterinburg spring coverage, I guess it was, or maybe autumn coverage. Definitely coverage was gettable, but, okay, here we have some chili. Yeah, chili. This little divot in the, uh, signpost is Chilean, and this should be fairly far south, I think. Well, it's definitely in this southern part here where all the national park is. And eh, I think it's actually just around, I think it's actually about this latitude. So opponent guesses, uh, we have like some kind of a river. I'm, I'm not gonna try and 5K it, but I do think it's like, I do th actually think it's more this latitude rather than all the way south. Although I guess O'Higgins is the further south it could be. And yeah, it was a bit further north there. Good guess from our opponent. Oh, I should have even, yeah, I should have even just gone further north there, but, uh, you know, it's still not too bad. We're even healthier. 
the Russia was kind of lucky for us, even though we didn't make not that much of a nice guess. Next one here, are we in Italy, perhaps? Uh, 2022, uh, it could also be Slovenia, I think, um, or Croatia, potentially even, but this kind of exposed brick looks more Italian or French or something. Uh, but yeah, the road, the road does feel more like Italian or maybe even, even like, uh, we have no blue strips. Hmm. I just think this might be in Slovenia for that reason, or Croatia, because I would kind of expect to see some blue strips if not. So I'm going to guess here on the border between the two. Uh, I think Italy, you would almost always see them. And I think we see two cars without here. So I'm feeling good about my guess. It's still possible that it's elsewhere, but I think the road quality, something about the patch here um, and the fact that it's very pale. Yeah, and it was just uh, in Croatia indeed. A uh, good guess from our opponent, honestly, could have been there, even with the plates. Uh, but it's good damage for us. So, next one here. We take a bit of an advantage here. We're in Ecuador. This is an Ecuadorian bollard, this double one. Uh, and we have a single line. It's concrete. Yeah, so to me, as I've said previously in rounds like this, it's either up here or kind of out here. East, southeast. I do kind of, I do get the feeling that we might be kind of in this eastern section, but I might, I'm just gonna hedge it in the south, like, I'm just gonna hedge it east of Andes for a bunch of different possibilities, because this easily could be west, and it is. Uh, just passing through some smaller hills, which kind of look like the ones you get out here, 1.2k damage. Um, yeah, also the single yellow line is also more common east of the Andes, and that's kind of why I thought that. Next one here, what do we got? Looks like we might be in Brazil here, red soil everywhere, right? Uh, architecture's kind of generic. We also, have like the full white car. So could I be wrong here? We also, like the, the road is kind of concrete. Um, now I'm looking for any evidence. Like the signpost doesn't appear to be painted. Okay, where's the sun? Where's the sun? Where's the sun? So sun seems to be more so to the north, which would lead to Southern Hemisphere. I just don't really think it looks that much like Brazil, but I, I, I'm kind of leaning to the fact that it has to be because of the sun, but uh, is it actually north? Maybe not. Okay, so let's be objective about this car. It's like the white car. Yeah. Hmm. Not so sure. We... I, I don't really think it's the Colombian car. Eh. Uh, gonna go Brazil. I think our opponent will go there too. I'm not really sure about the car here though. And holy crap, it was... We didn't even guess and it was Thailand, so we're knocked out there. Couldn't think of it. Could not think of it. The sign was set up for left-hand drive. And, uh, yeah, well, that's okay. We only lose 16 points. Fortunately, it wasn't a low rated. Now we have Karania, one of the, if not the best player in Australia. Definitely top three, without a doubt. And, uh, hopefully, I can prove myself also to be top three by, uh, winning this duel. Let's see, though. This is the USA. Um, as I said, guys, Thailand, not really a country I like just yet. I'll work on it, but... Okay, we got Southern Pine here. Definitely feels like the South to me. Blue Painted Bridge. Uh... I think it's a southern pine. It actually could be north, yeah. Well, I'm gonna go in Mississippi. It could even be, hmm, yeah. There's still a bunch of options here. I'm gonna go in uh, Florence, Alabama, actually. And it was actually in Florida. Opponent goes in Louisiana. Makes sense, it was kind of marshland. Should have just gone south coast and we would have been closer. That's easier said than done though. Next one here is uh, Spain, I would say. Uh, is it though? Hmm. Yes, I, I do think so. It's kind of a strange Spain, uh, but our opponent's in. I mean, I don't think Karani is missing too much, and especially if he's in, then I'm feeling good that this should be uh, indeed Spain and probably just north here if we have red brick architecture. And it was, and uh, that's going to be our first bit of damage or second bit of damage onto him. Um, so we just have to hold our cool here. I'm not. I'm not scared of Karania. But he's definitely in more practice than me. You can see he's like right maxed out the uh, stats there. So um, he's definitely he's definitely at the peak of his game. I think it's fair to say. Next one here, Ireland. Yellow outer dashes equals Ireland, generally speaking. And this just doesn't really give me too many vibes. So I'm just going to click middle here. And it was middle north. So that wasn't a bad move because I think I had more south vibes. But I knew that I didn't really know where it was. So. He also goes for a nothing guess. Next one here. Is it Korea? Looks like Korean architecture, yeah. And there's a black car. Um, I don't know, this just kind of gives me East Coast vibes, but uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for the guess here. And yeah, it was just Southwest. I don't really know Korea. I don't really 
Yes, you can drop 500 kilometers on it, but at the end of the day, it's pretty hard to learn and I have not bothered yet. So I just kind of make a guess. Okay, next one here. Looks like we're gonna be somewhere in Estonia. Just gonna go outside Tallinn here. And it was Eastern Estonia. Yeah, these were just like, as soon as we both know the country, and they're small countries, it's gonna be pretty similar guesses, so may as well just go in for it. But this one looks more interesting now. So we have B-type guardrail, which is more so Eastern Europe. We have a blue car. 2022 coverage, is this Poland? Poland definitely comes to mind here. I think Poland is easily most likely. I'm gonna go for the guess here, and I'm gonna click middle to make you guys happy. Uh, and it was just Southern Poland there. Opponent goes Germany. Uh, but it was 2022, so it couldn't have been Germany, actually, so he didn't check the copyright. I mean, I would have gone Poland anyway, I'm pretty sure, but always great to check. And the next one here is, uh, this bollard is Malaysian, and the vibes, the kind of dry coverage, it kind of feels northeastern Malaysian, but, uh, I'm gonna kind of hedge it central in Kalantan just in case. And it was, yeah, it was just south. Negeri Sembilan is easily the hardest state. It can look like all the others, so, yeah, I mean, if I... If you told me it was there, then I wouldn't have been surprised, and uh, yeah, well, it was there, so. Next one here. Uh, we look like we're in Lima here. This uh, kind of light yellow number plate, plus, like, heavy industry, you know, very populated. Can I see any evidence of anything? Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna go for it. This should be here. It is. Um, better to just get things over with, because, yeah, n uh, like, n nowhere else in, in Peru really looks that busy, I feel. Rarely, unless you're right in the middle of the town, but that felt like a suburb almost. Next one here is Nigeria. Uh, this feels like somewhere near Lagos to me, just the soil color. Um, I wonder if he'll go for that. I'm gonna I'm go Lagos here, I'm gonna go Lagos. And it was west of Lagos, yep. So, I mean, very even stuff so far. <clears throat> we were fortunate to pick up some points on that um, Poland round, but apart from that, it's been pretty even, Steven. Next one here is back in Malaysia, a country I'm theoretically good at. Uh, and it looks like we're going to be over in, uh, in Borneo this time, I think. I don't see any blue stickers, and it's a bit of a toughie because we don't really see too much in the way of clues. Like, I think it's Sabah because it's so flat. Oh, and we do have Sabah poles there. I think I'm going to take advantage of that and go quickly here. I'm just going to, like, hedge it in the middle of Sabah, just for everything. And it was there, and wow, he, he, he missed the fact that there were no blue st black stickers on the poles. And that's GG, so well played to Karania. Uh, fortunately, we bounced back into the episode well here. That's 23 points. And uh, let's see if we can find him again, because not that he's easy ELO, but we can gain nicely off him. Okay, we finally got our game. It's against a 1.1k rated player, Jess from Germany. We'll send a wave back. And now let's play really quickly here. So we have blue car antenna. We have, I think, Greek language is kind of interesting, or is that actually, it doesn't really feel like, I want to say it's not Greek language. I want to say this is actually, yeah, this should actually just be somewhere in Bulgaria, I think. It's too cold for Greece. I'm thinking just Sofia here. I'm gonna go for that. And it was actually in Dobrich. Yeah, so fine, opponent goes for the same guess. And the tactics will be against 1.1K to go quickly on any round where the country is ambiguous because those little extra moments can be the difference uh, of an opponent this rating figuring out the country. I think this is um, Lithuania. I'm gonna go for the guess quickly here. I think the bollard fits and it looks like the, oh wow, it was actually Estonia, okay. The uh, sign back also looked like it was kind of folded back, which is something you really commonly see in the Baltics. Um, you know, go look at the back of a sign in the Baltics if you wanna know what I mean. Next one here is Poland. It's pretty straightforward. Might actually be a good one to guess quickly though, because I think it is possible that our opponent wouldn't know. And yes, the middle clicking tactics once again working wonders for us there. 191 damage. It's not nothing. It's not nothing, you know. It moves this into the lead. Well, this feels like a repeat. I think this is a repeat somewhere in Italy. <clears throat> yeah. Now, where was it? I feel like it was like more west, but I'm just gonna hedge middle in the Alps here. We'll find out where exactly it was, but uh, yeah, this guardrail ending where it kind of gets thicker at the end is really common in Italy, and it was west. I thought it was west. Opponent goes in Spain. Again, just quick guessing tactics here, and hope we don't get anything crazy like the Thailand where I just couldn't think of the country. Although that was such a throw. Um, it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, next one here, we're going to be somewhere in RG. We have North 
west and, and north. We have mountains both directions here, which is kind of interesting. Um, trees kind of feel like they could be Mendoza way. I like San Juan here with mountains both sides of us. I'm gonna go for that. Um, definitely like kind of the poplar trees here. Very common, like San Juan and south in this kind of region here. Especially common around New Ken. And it was San Juan region. Opponent goes in San Diego, so yeah, GG is there. Again, this is always going to be our tactics against 1.1Ks, and at this stage we still get 6 points against 1.1Ks, so it's kind of gratifying. And we're back against Karania here, let's give him a wave. Um, Karania's actually someone I've met in real life, so definitely a friend. And uh, let's see how we go against him round number 2. This is Eastern Europe, so there are points on offer here. Um, and I don't quite know, I thought, I thought of Poland at first. Uh, but yeah, there's still, there's still a bunch of options here, I feel. Um, I still think the Poland is most likely, so I'm just gonna send it in here and uh, see what it is. Uh, Czechia seems pretty decently likely to me. I don't think you can make out too much. Yeah, okay, Czechia makes sense as well. I was gonna say, I couldn't make out too much in the language, but I didn't really think it looked that Polish, but yeah, I think you don't wanna read too much into graffiti as anyway. Next one here, we are in Hong Kong. Yeah, let's say so. I'm gonna go quickly here, unless this is Malaysia somehow. So he guesses. Hmm. We have the black car driving list. I still think it's Hong Kong. I get the feeling that these road lines don't, they're kind of too thick or something for Malaysian ones. I want to say, but we'll find out. And it was Hong Kong, nice. Okay, I mean, I still think that, was, that wasn't like, like a dead cert, but yeah, Malaysia would be the other, the other option with like very vegetation, like very Asian vegetation driving left, um, but with double whites. Okay, uh, we're in the US here. And it's kind of difficult. We have sagebrush everywhere here. So clearly somewhere out in this kind of Western region, that's kind of very dry. Nevada came to mind. I'm not really sure. This feels maybe a bit populated for Nevada. Um, yeah, so that does kind of raise the question, where would we be if we're not there? I'm just gonna leave it, I think. And okay, that makes sense, man. I should have gotten that, but really nice guess. You got the right river. Um, well, it's good that we made our bad guesses early, because these would have been knockout guesses later on, so... That's good, hopefully we can use that to our advantage and tilt him by uh, getting close later on in the game. But okay, next one here, we are in the Philippines, and we have a mountain there southwest, and... Yeah, it kind of... it's very dry here, but I do get the feeling this might be north. So... Probably just gonna plonk it around Manila, I think, I don't know. And it was actually a bit further north there, but he gets the vibes as well. And uh, yeah, just 193 points, at least no flawless. Always nice to get not flawless if you start off kind of badly in a duel. And the next one here should be in Spain. <clears throat> um, I would say that this might just be the center. Now, could this be Turkey still? Hmm. Yes, yes, it could be. Hmm. I believe it is Turkey. Okay, I'm gonna switch to uh, out here in the flat bit. Please don't be Spain. I don't think it is. And it was, oh uh, yeah, 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 yeah. We had rock walls, I, I should have switched here. Uh, but again, it's nothing too crazy, just a thousand points. I mean, bad guess, but we at least didn't go Spain. <laughs> I trusted my first instinct too long. And then by the time I had to make a region guess, I was just happy to be in the right country. Okay, next one here. This kind of feels quite Eastern to me. Suspiciously Eastern, perhaps. Uh, I'm actually gonna go out like Kurgan, uh, Chumenwe, uh, southwest. I'm not gonna worry about the yeah, road angle too much, although if he's giving us time. Um, let's go here. Hmm. I think it's good. It could also be much further east. What about the cars? Yeah, it's a European car. I feel good about this guess then. Should be fine. Let's find out. And it was, yeah, it was just over in Chumen, and he goes for the exact same guess. Not exactly a surprise. It definitely looked like Chumen or Kurgan. Um, although we, we both hedged very, I guess we were looking at the road angle a bit too much. We could have probably gone for a more ideal guess. Next one here, Tokyo style pole tops with the square here, potentially. Uh, do we have any phone number? Not really. Um, hmm. Yeah, I wonder. I don't really see anything on the poles that's too useful either. I'm gonna go in Tokyo for that reason. I'm gonna go out here, I think, let's find out. And it was all the way out east. I used a secret meta that I just discovered. I'll, I'll eventually tell you guys that to go a bit further east there, but I should have committed because it actually was working. Anyway, next one here, we've got uh, some Dutch action here. I'm just gonna click in the middle. This is a boring round to me. Sorry, Dutchies. I know a lot of you watch the channel and I do find your country 
Pretty cool. It would be a nice place to live. However, you know, not that interesting on GeoGuessr. Okay, next one. Uh, we have some... Hmm... Belgium? Belgium? Denmark? Uh, what's going on with these bollards, though? I think it's actually... No, it is actually Poland with rare bollards. Um, and I think this is a middle click. Wait, this could actually be, like, Lithuanian hills, but, uh, no, 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 we're, we're, we're clicking middle here. Okay, well, it was Warsaw there, good guess from our opponent, but that's fine. So, we're, we're kind of being chipped here, 1.2k for that, it's a little rough in Poland, especially considering we were going for our wise tactics. So now we need big countries to show up. We have, uh, Kenya here, not ideal. Mm. Is it Western Kenya? I feel like this feels more like Central Kenya. I'm gonna go for something here, let's find out. It was just kind of central indeed, although he's closer again. It's going to be 500-ish points, I guess. 400-ish. Okay. It's definitely been a one-sided duel so far, but I've come back from worse. And here we have some Brazil, question mark. Okay, it is. It feels like Ciara Piauí, I think. Uh, I'm going to go Piauí here, I think. Yeah, I'm going to go here next to Ciara. This palm, the really circular one, is common up there. I think the dirt looks a bit Piauí as well. Um, it's a risky guess. We could win here if he completely misjudges it, but I doubt. He's probably gonna go for a similar guess. We'll see. And, oh wow, it was Piaui and he knocks us out on a really nice Piaui guess there. Surely that's it, yeah. Well, it feels bad to lose on the right state in Brazil, but at the end of the day, we still made profit off uh, playing against Karania today. So we'll go for one more. I don't really like to end on a loss, although if we lose this one, I might have to. And we face Karania again here. <coughs> Let's see if we can make this one work for the final duel. It would be nice to go two and one. We're starting off with the US here. This kind of feels a little further north. Send him away back. And I'm thinking that we... Do we commit? Do we commit to north here? I'm not so sure about that, you know. This could... I think maybe it's just a West Virginia click, to be honest. It doesn't necessarily look like West Virginia, but... I... Hmm. Objectively speaking, what do we have? Hmm. 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 Yeah, it's going to be a West Virginia click on this occasion. And it was actually over in... Is it West Virginia? It is. Yeah, that was West Virginia. Okay, we got the state. Uh, and we got slightly closer. So, moral victory. Although his latitude guess was better. Next one here is India. Yeah. This is a bit interesting though. We have these concrete blocks. Reminds me of Northeast India. Um, hmm. Could it be anywhere else? Could technically be Sri Lanka, though. I think I definitely prefer India. I'm, I'm a bullet, man. I'm gonna go over in the northeast here. We gotta go for what we think it is. I'm, I'm gonna say we're... It, it just feels like Bhutan, right? These, like, big, big, big blocks. Kind of feels like that direction, surely. Oh, wow. 5Ks in Sikkim. Well, nice guess. Um, only a thousand points because we made a relatively good one ourselves, but uh, <laughs> that's a pretty nice guess from Karania there. Next one here. Are we in Curacao? Uh, kind of looks like Curacao because of this kind of dryness, though I'm not entirely convinced we're there in reality. So where would we be? Mexico? Possible. Brazil? Possible. Northern... Northern Colombia is possible technically. I feel like that has to be less likely. So where's the sun? Sun there, more so to the south. Uh, I think I think that North Brazil is most likely. We will see here. Ah yeah yeah, it was Mexico. There. That's going to be huge damage. Clearly, um, Jalisco is not easy to get there, I want to say, but, uh, we are taking a battering to Karania here. Next one here. Should be somewhere in Norway. And I got the feeling this is a bit further south, you know, but it could be north as well. I think I'm just going to click out on these islands here. We have a lot of, like, pine trees, it would appear. Um, maybe a little bit further north, just hedging, like, around Trondheim here would be fine, I think. And yeah, really nice guess there. <clears throat> Got the right little cluster of islands, so we do a bit of damage back there. A little bit of, uh, you know, we had to we had to get a bit of moral victory back here. Um, <laughs> okay, I'll see what we got next. Um, should be somewhere in Mexico. Although that pole's really interesting next to us. I still think it's Mexico. I might go for the quick guess here. Could this be... Yeah, should be Mexico. What's that plate? I don't know. Chapas or... I feel like this is somewhere... Wait, is the plate blur... Is the, uh... Hmm. 
I think, I think I like this guess. I think I might just kind of guess here to hedge for Southern Mexico, I think. Oh, and it was Jalapa there. 1.5 times damage, it's almost it. It's almost it, 1.3 there. Um, hmm. Okay, we have to really clutch up here. I, I get the feeling this is gonna be a really big road back to winning. Uh, this is Brazil, a place I like to guess. Uh, T.O. Tocantins, I'm gonna go there. I think it says Tocantins there. He would have seen the same, and he does. And can he knock us out? Not quite. It's another 238 though. Uh, if only I saw that sooner though, I'm sure he would have uh, eventually seen the same info. I'm just glad I saw it, I guess. Next one here, that's Korea. It's probably the worst country that could have showed up right now. Is this um, Jeju Island? I think not, but I think it might be Southwest. Um, I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna go for a region guess here. Let's see? Now, nah, shit. Shit. Should've just clicked middle. And that's GG. Damage. Wowie. Horrible game. Uh, both games were. I mean, this one, the Brazil guess, I, I mean, yeah, it wasn't, clearly wasn't Brazil in the end, but uh, I still don't hate the guess. I'm gonna go for one more here. That was a quick one. Um, and we're against him again. So hopefully we can make a 2-2. Uh, the last two games were not particularly close, though, admittedly. So, wave back. And let's get into it. We are in... Uh, bike lane makes me want to say we're in, in the Netherlands here. I think I'm going to go for that. And it was there, right on the German border there in Venlo. Uh, in fact, we were just driving into Germany. Uh, what way are we facing? Yeah, you don't get to see. Okay, next one here. Italy came to mind here, like the pine, the mountains. Italy still in mind. Now, could it be... S ooh, 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 ooh. That looks like a Western Cape Pole. He's got, he's guessed. This should be Western Cape, actually. But he might have missed that. This does not look like um, Western Cape. But yeah, I, if we are, we like, should be around like Stellenbosch or Pal or something. It's this kind of area here. And yeah, um, thank goodness I saw that. I was really, I was really liking maybe like a Sardinia, I guess, or something like that. But uh, yeah, the pole top, if you want to go back to the round, it was on the right hand side of the screen, unique to that area. Now we're in India and yeah, not too sure where this one would be. Um, probably, well, like, vegetation-wise, it's kind of hard for me to say here. Um, so let's get into the map here. Where would I where would I envision this actually being? Maybe a bit further south? I feel like a lot of the trekkers are south, but maybe those are pa palms as well down there? I think I might actually go south here. Uh, I don't know. He's been good on India so far. I'm a little bit scared. No, nah, but no, nah, I'm a committing. No, oh, no, but what is that language there? I'm just leaving it. Oh, and it was south, man. That's that's exactly where I was considering even hedging further towards. But it's at least two thousand points damage. He goes all the way north. Very understandable stuff. I was also considering north. So yeah. Next one here. We are in Japan. We don't really have any info. Oh, this I remember being something. Although I think we are just. I think these pole tops put us in uh, Chubu. Is it? Um. So easterly, we don't really have too much in the way of mountains or anything. We also have palms, so should be fairly coastal here. Hamamatsu, probably a fairly decent guess here. Kanazawa, also possible, but I'm thinking Hamamatsu might be the best guess here. Let's find out. Hmm. Was well, the other side of Nagoya, but yeah, similar guess. Oh yeah, there's the city of Toyota. I, I heard that everyone drives a Toyota here, but you can tell me if that's true or an urban myth. I can't remember. Next one here, Uruguay, Argentina. Uh, looks like we might have... Oh, we have a Uruguayan pole top there, I believe. And this one actually did make me pause to consider, because the plates seem kind of short for Uruguay. Um, but... No, I'm assuming this is a uh, pole top that you do see in... Hmm. Why well, am I actually confused here? This is uh, kind of a rare, confusing round. I thought this was just a pole top that was correct, but... Yeah, and the plates do seem white. Well, I have to commit. I have to commit here. It would be Montevideo if it's there. And oh my gosh, it was Corrientes, man. Oh my. The time is going off. Everything bad happening. It's not actually that much damage. I mean, we're still in the lead, but uh, this is a bad guess. Bad guess. Bad guess. Especially considering how much Uruguay I practiced. I just got gaslit by the pole top, you know. Okay, next one here. This feels like Alberta to me. Blue car here. Not really sure. Um... Yeah, pole top would actually fit pretty good for Alberta here. I think it would also be fairly north, but I'll just go in like a town out here. Let's go in uh, Sedgwick, Alberta. Let's find out. Oh no, it was actually Regina, 
and it's going to be more big damage there. I mean, this is just a bit unfortunate. Saskatchewan was always possible to me, but I really preferred going in uh, Alberta there. Okay, next one here. And I hate these rounds, man. I think, oh wow, PC actually just froze. Hopefully we're still recording. Um, we are on a two highway here. Uh, I never even bothered to look at this, but I feel like we kind of have to. I feel like Karani is also kind of bad, <laughs> bad at looking for these, but uh, probably still better than me. Most people are. Okay, the number two. I mean, we have two stuff here. Feeling, feel like I, uh, does it actually look like this area? I'm not so sure about that, to be honest with you. Hmm. Harafel. Just gonna send it. Don't really care. Yeah, I mean, he doesn't know either. He's sending the questioning emoji. I feel like this is, I mean, I think if I had to guess, I would go out here. It's kind of what it looks like to me, but yeah, I don't know. When information comes, I'm actually worse. So, you know, I'll get, I'll get better, but oh shit. What, what's the two then? Is that actually two kilometers away from where we were? And I completely, it's the 900. Oh my gosh. See, this is like literally a day one tip, but I just don't know. Cause I, prior to now, didn't care. I have to start caring. I will stop coping. Don't worry. I know it's a bit cringe. It'll all be over soon when I gain some skills in that, but while I'm working full time, I have not been able to gain skills in that, and uh, that has cost me a lot of points on this jewel. Okay, next one here, Italy. Um, Fabro, yeah, definitely Italian. I'm gonna hedge it here, because there are more mountains here, so it feels like a reasonable hedge. And he's closer than me. I don't think it's 700 points closer, but it is a fair amount. 400, hmm, 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 hmm. We haven't been able to make the comeback today yet. And, oh my gosh, don't tell me it's time one. That's so stupid, man. We get, what was it last time we got knocked out on a small country? It was, uh, yeah, South Korea and then Taiwan. Like, literally, textbook terrible countries to get last up. I'm gonna go for a region, no, no, no. This time I'm actually clicking middle. This time I'm actually just clicking middle, screw it. Oh my gosh, man. No, I was gonna go north. I, I swear to you, I was gonna go north. <sighs> Should have hedged north. I think we uh, have actually lost Elo on this episode, which was not meant to happen, man. But we could have, we could have gained it. So, I mean, this is it. This is this is this is. Uh, as soon as you hit 1.4k, I think this is now what you expect. But what I do like is that we're not always facing 1.1ks. We're getting a nice amount of games against top players, Karania especially. He's definitely shown himself to be better than me for right now. So, guys, thank you so much for watching the video all the way to the end. I'll be back soon and I will beat Karani next time I face him. And uh, yeah, that is it for the video. So till next time guys, give the video a like and goodbye.